challenges are going to be, obviously, yet as you start moving forward. But I think we've got some some really good football players. So I think we got a we got a good group that's working hard. You, you said uh, prior to the spring when you first were introduced that you thought 15 practices was plenty for the spring. Where is the offense? You think at this point? With a few weeks to go. And I think they've got a really good understanding of the of what we're asking them to do, um, our base offense, I should say. The guys that were around for those 15 days, our two offensive line, our two quarterbacks, really the young guys, it's, it's a battle right now to have great understanding because it is so new to them and, and our defense is so multiple and causes so many problems. But, but the guys that have... Uh, you know, been in the battles before. They can apply, um, obviously, experiences to what we're teaching them offensively. I think they've really got a good understanding of what we're doing. And now, you know, you see situational work like short yardage today that we put things in that are that are game plan specific that, that they picked up pretty well. Where, doing a good job. Where's timing, do you think? I think timing's good. You know, I think with our ones, I think, you know, the biggest thing is getting the ball out of your hand in the passing game when you really start talking about timing. And I think Jeff's got a good feel for that. And every now and then the defense does a good job of covering us. And we might hold it a little bit too long. But, but I think our receivers and, and the quarterbacks are, are doing a good job getting on the same page. Kurt, when do you start deciding about depth of the quarterback? When do you start thinking about that? You know, we got a little bit more time. I think the biggest thing is trying to see what the strengths and weaknesses of each guy um, has and, and uh, decide from there. But we'll have to start making decisions here pretty soon, you know, uh, through the week and the next week and start trying to get more reps that way. But I still think, you know, we're in a competitive situation. And let's just keep battling and see what they learn because every day is so new to these guys. Um, Kurt, Jeff, said, Jeff, Jeff talked a little bit about his relationship with you the other day and everything. And from your end, it, he didn't say anything bad, by the way. <laughs> but from your end of it, what's it like getting to know Jeff and getting to work with Jeff and, and building that relationship? Sure. I, I, you know, I've enjoyed every second of it. He's a good person. You know, I like being around really good people. That's that's fun for me. That's one of the the uh, one of the things that's important to me in evaluation. You know, a guy that is accountable, that says he that does what he says he's going to do. He's that kind of person. He's a guy you can hang your hat on as a person. He's he's fun to be around. He's obviously a really talented football player, so he's fun to coach that way. But uh, but it's been it's been a lot of fun to get to know I know the guys. How important is it to get real um you know, the non you know so the question to timing earlier that's what I'm trying to teach them is these are these guys are trying to get back there and hurt them you know what I mean and and so <laughs> there's a really what ends up happening so much in high school there's so much seven on seven that's played at a four second pace when you watch that that it really trains bad habits nobody's getting hit nobody's in front of them you know, they're blowing a horn at four seconds. That's not the real world. When you have a guy like Clowney rushing you, that that is below three seconds, and then it's 270 pounds of pain. So they need to understand that if they want to stay healthy, they've got to throw the football. I have, a, I have a simple rule for young quarterbacks when we come in. When I call a pass, I want you to throw the ball. And, and that's hard for young guys to do because they don't know what the route concepts are. So their inclination is to keep it and try to run. Well, you're not running past John Bullard and Dante Fowler and all. So when, simple rule, when I call pass, throw it. Make a decision, throw it. We'll learn from our mistakes. But be decisive. If a guy can't be decisive, it's hard to play.